Don Knotts is my dad. Do you uh, know Don Knotts? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, uh, are there any Andy Griffith Show Barney Fife fans? Yeah. 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 yeah, you know my dad. Well, do you think I look like my father, first of all? Yeah. A little bit. Okay, well, what about now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how I spend most of my time making faces, hoping someone will recognize me. <laughs> um, well, my dad, you know, he played this character, if you uh, didn't see the show, Barney Fife, who was a deputy sheriff so incompetent he was only allowed to have one bullet. And people ask me, well, what's it like to, to grow up with a father like that? Well, he did kind of, did kind of slip over into home life sometimes, you know. I'd be walking to school and kids would be laughing and pointing and I'd look around and there would be my father following behind me in the squad car. Like he thought nobody could see. And, and he could be very strict too. Like, you know, if, I, if he wanted me to do something, he'd be kind of mad. He'd put his hands on his hips. You know, so I'd see the gun. <laughs> I'd say, all right, Karen, you go on upstairs, brush your teeth, do your homework, and don't hang out with those bad kids on the Brady Bunch. <laughs> Strict. I had jail cell wallpaper in my bedroom. <laughs> Still have those dreams. Yeah, you know, I wanted to be a child actress. Of course, I wanted to be on the show. I mean, it was the most popular hit comedy show in the whole country. Here's my father, the star of the show. Like, Dad, get me on the show. But he said absolutely not. He wouldn't. He wouldn't dream of it. You know, he said it was a lonely life for a child. And I guess he's right. Poor lonely Ron Howard. <laughs> and his only friends are Oscar and Emmy. <laughs> so my dad wanted me to have a good education, so why did he send me to Beverly Hills High? Because believe me, those students were. But I had a pretty good... <laughs> Snuck that in there. But I did have a pretty good grounded education. I'm not like those other pseudo-celebrities like, you know, uh, Paris Hilton or Lindsay Lohan, because for one thing, I still have my driver's license. <laughs> uh, how about Three's Company? Three's Company, are you be familiar with uh, Ralph Ward Come and knock on our door? We're just waiting for you. See, I burst into songs, the drop I had, just when people admire my father like this. <laughs> knock on our door. So, um, that show was uh, in the late 70s about a chef named Jack, played by John Ritter. <laughs> and he pretended to be gay so he could share an apartment with two women without causing a scandal. <laughs> my, how times have changed, right? <laughs> my dad, he got the part on the show because the, the other landlord left. He played landlord Mr. Furley. But he almost didn't get the part because they wanted a Don Knotts type. <laughs> Imagine my dad was available and they wanted a Don Knotts type. Now there's a lesson here, folks. Never get to be so famous that another actor gets to be famous playing you, gets your dressing room, residuals, and of the show credits. You have to make your own reservations at trendy restaurants and leave tips instead of an autographed picture. That's the moral of that story. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go off on you like that. <laughs> but, um... Mr. Furley was, you know, the guy who couldn't get laid, but I can assure you, my dad did get laid at least once. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you guys.